Hello Lakers, and welcome to another episode of Lakers Shenanigans. I'm Nate Bowman. And I'm Davion Brown. And on this week's episode, we will be looking at what is taking place in the final quarter this year. First off, we will take a look at the upcoming spring play, which opens this weekend. It is almost time for the annual spring play, and the tech team is giving us an inside look on how it all comes together. Uh, the play this year is called Medea. It's a Greek tragedy. It's actually one of the oldest forms of theater that's been recorded. Uh, we like to try to challenge the kids in different ways. With having done Susical in, in the fall, uh, we just want to do a counterbalance, something that wasn't quite so lighthearted and fun, with something a little more tragic and and uh, shows the actors' uh, skills a little better. The crew gave us insight to their jobs and how long and why they are involved. Well, I'm the technical director, so I'm in charge of everything from lights, sound, set construction, stage management. I am part of the costume and makeup team, which we uh, sew and design the costumes for the play and the actors, and we'll do their makeup and hair before the show. So my role is I'm on the light design team, and what we do is um, we hang and design all of the lighting that goes on for the entire play. Uh, well, let's see. I've been doing theater now 27 years when I started as a freshman in high school. Did uh, about 20 years worth of community theater, and I've been here now for 10 years. I joined theater in seventh grade as an actor because I knew other people in theater, and I thought it would be a fun experience, and it, and it was. I joined theater last year because I wanted a experience in technical theater. If you are interested in joining theater or the tech team, this is how to become involved. Uh, well, we every time we announce a show, we have on our website uh, all the applications for, for auditions and for technical theater. Basically, if you're interested, even if you have no experience, we'll teach you. I've had plenty of kids come in here with absolutely no experience in how to build stuff, and eventually they do pick up some of those skills. And Catch the spring play this Friday at Prior Lake High School. Man, I can't wait for opening night. Yeah, same here. I hope those guys break a leg and have a great show. And now as we slide into our next topic, many of our seniors have caught in Contagious Senior Slide. The senior slide is when seniors give less effort at the end of their high school careers. When does senior slide start? Depending on the student, it can start beginning of the year or more towards the end of the year. I'm going to go with second quarter. Probably no. Is it a good or bad thing? I imagine it's a good thing for your work, work ethic. Well, definitely a bad thing. I think it destroys your work ethic. I haven't had to do a lot of homework. Life's been pretty easy, but college, that's going to be rough. Are you a victim? A victim? I'm practically writing the book, man. Oh, I definitely am, John. Um, it's just taking hold of me. Nothing I can do about it. Huge victim. The start of fourth quarter, many seniors are just sitting back and enjoying the ride. Not gonna lie, but I have caught a bit of senioritis. Same here. Graduation can come any faster. Enough senior stuff. Let's talk about prior like a, as a whole. Overcrowding is starting to get a bit ridiculous. Here's what's happening. In prior like high school, it is a struggle to get from class to class because of the overcrowded hall. It does get congested at times. Uh, makes it difficult for kids to get to class on time. Here are the freshmen's thoughts on the hallways. Stop in the middle of the hallway. Like they just stop there. People stop right in front of me, and I like want to keep going. Something that makes me mad is when when people are walking and then they just like stop walking, and then like when people walk really slow. And then... Here's what the staff is doing about the overcrowded hallway. And if the referendum that gets voted on in May passes, we will be adding additional classrooms and space, and so that'll help to alleviate some of the congestion. We've also talked about looking at the lockers and removing lockers in certain locations where we know the students get congested as well as looking at changing the structure or design of the lockers. Until the referendum is finalized, we should all try to make Prior Lake Hallways a better place. Dang, I'm glad I'm out of here in a couple of months. Well, I guess that's all we have time for. I'm Nate. And I'm Dede. Have a great weekend. Keep it classy, Prior Lake.